I need to take my mind off stuff. So we're gonna go shopping. Hello friends. All right, we are here with our haul and it's another huge mega haul. As you can see, things are looking quite differently on the table. I cleared it and this is not how it's going to be. Um, this is just, I had to get, you know, all of the red, white, and blue off the table. I thought I had bought another tablecloth, but this is the one from um, Big Lot and I'm just going to use it because I looked high and low. I could have sworn I bought another tablecloth, but it is what it is. And this is just what it's going to be for Halloween 2024. Um, anyways, I have not had time to even try and decorate today because I've just been doing a million and one things and I need to film the haul. So we're going to kick it off with Dollar Tree. A lot of stuff is wet because as you all know, there's some storm coming through and it's just like pouring rain and... Um, so stuff did get wet. Okay. So I'm drenched right now, but that's okay. All right. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, first item is the family size red, white, and blue crunch. Um, this is fun star shapes, limited edition family size, and it is 16.9 ounces. So I decided to pick that up. Expiration date is December 27, 2023. I also grabbed one these um, ramen noodles, a five pack chicken and they're by McTrader. So just in case, um, you know, there's been like all these warnings for the storms. So this was something that like, if the power did go out, we could cook it on the grill outside. It has like a area. Um, I don't know what you call it, but it has an area where you can cook like side dishes. So just got this just in case. All right. Then for my nephew, I need to start getting him. His birthday is in October, so I want to get him a Halloween bag and, like, of course, a birthday present. So I did pick this up for him, and it's just candy corn. It has, like, the cute little jack-o'-lantern. I also grabbed him candy corn cotton candy. thought that was adorbs. And then I really liked, of course, the Boo Berry. So grabbed him those. And then I am picking these up along the way because I either want to make cupcakes and stick these like in the as a topper i'm uh, not sure what i'm gonna do with these peeps but um i have quite a few packages now and i'm sure i will find something um this of course i might i, I don't know what i'm gonna do but i, I needed some marshmallows because someone gave me a good idea they said to put these on the outside since they're so pricey and then on the inside just fill it up like with marshmallows or you could do like candy corn so we'll see what i come up with um then I grabbed a whole bunch of these, and I honestly recommend you do too. Go to the 99 because they're cheaper. I spent $1.25, and I could have gone with the 99 I really like the Ghost Pops, and if we're talking about, um, you know, a cute, low-budget present, you could put a Ghost Pop and one of these and, like, a pack of these in, like, a mug from or a tumbler from Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store, or even, I mean, they have really cute mugs at Ross. I, I show them to you guys, you know, almost on, I mean, on the weekly basis for $3.99 or $4.99. And, you know, this is $1.25. You get six of these for $1.25. I know a lot of you don't have a 99 cent store. So, I mean, all that it would cost you would be like, it'd be like a $5 present. The most expensive thing would be the mugs. And if you have a $20 limit, go for the $3.99 mugs and, you know, buy four depending on what your taxes are, what state you're in. Um, and then you could stick, you know, jack-o'-lantern and the ghost, maybe some of these or some hot cocoa in there, however you want to mix it up. So I grabbed one, two, three, four, because I do want to put these like in a cute a mug maybe by the coffee bar. I'm not sure. And then I thought to like kind of switch things up too. Um, put the, the Frankenstein and the witch's hat. That would be cute. I mean, or you could put all four in a mug and just call it a day. You know, you don't have to spend any extra money. So I did get one, two, three, let me see, four, five, six, and they're adorable. And for the price, you can't go wrong. All right. I did pick up a Bay 
buy, whatever you call this, um, Brazilla blueberry, and I love this stuff, so I just need to put it in the fridge. All right, let me clear the table. All right, this basically got ruined because it got wet in the rain, and you can see all those dots. Uh, I'm just going to put it outside. I mean, not today, but it's just going to go outside. Um, I'll figure out somewhere for it to go outside in the front porch. Um, honestly, I wasn't going to be able to use it like as a backdrop because it won't stand on its own, but it is adorable. I love the, the ghost and the pumpkin and this way, if you dare. So that's going to be outside. Um, all right. I did grab a whole bunch of these. I think I bought more. I don't know where the other bag is, but all right. I mean, I spent like a hundred dollars at Dollar Tree. So this is going to be a big dollar. This is going to be a big haul. All right. These light up. Super, super cool. I picked up, let me see. I think, I know I picked up more than four. Um, four. And then I also, they also have it in the jack-o'-lantern. And these are too cute. These are only two I saw. If you have not watched our phenomenal Dollar Tree walkthrough, definitely check it out. Look at how cool those are. So did get, grab another jack-o'-lantern and I mean these honestly look so Michael-esque and that is really what I was trying to come across when that's why the title is the way the title is it's Michael's dupes at Dollar Tree um for a fraction of the price now the first Halloween shop with me at Michael's that I shot was all like carnival very bright colors and these are the colors that we were seeing the fluorescent um, yellows, the fluorescent orange, the fluorescent pinks and lavenders. And so this totally goes, which is why I was totally ecstatic to see this stuff there. All right. And that is what they're going to look like when they're lit up. I think perfect for, you know, when I do our home tour and on Halloween, I just let these babies pretty much, I light them up and, you know, they burn out and then on to the next season. But since I really like these, I'm going to see, well, I don't know. Honestly, I don't, I don't want to save stuff like this. I really, really don't. It's a pain to get batteries in there. I don't know. I have to see what type of battery it is and how much it is. I mean, you know, but these are really cute and they do light up and they'll look great on a tiered tray. And for the most part, I mean, especially like the jack-o'-lantern, it's kid-friendly. You could put it, you know, or it would be great, like, if you're going to be having a Halloween party, put these, like, in your half bathrooms that the guests are going to use, you know, make it spooky in there. It's not, it's not even really spooky. It's just cuteness, you know, and have, like, a candle going, and it's just fun. So, or if you're going to be having a Halloween party, you know, you can put these on the table or in different areas to illuminate, and they're $1.25. Okay, and as you can see, these are the candles that are spider webs, and they are very bright and illuminating. And this would be again great for a guest bathroom. And I'm sorry if the light is annoying, um, but anyways, so I do like it. They are cute, and a dollar twenty-five, orange, white, and black. I like these the way they illuminate. Again, for $1.25, again, we have the witch, we have the ghost, and we have the cat. I'm going to turn the lights on so you guys can see the colors of these because you cannot tell the colors by the, just how it's illuminating, but it is really pretty. And that's how they look. So we have the purple one. I'm going to turn them off. I don't want them to burn out. The purple and the black with the witch. You have my favorite, the orange, which matches my whole tablecloth dealio. And then we have the cat. And I bought another one of the orange. And let's see. Uh, I got another. So I bought like, I think about like six ghosts. Yeah, I got a lot of these because they're going to go everywhere. This was a really good deal. The uh, candy corn um, candle and the jack-o'-lantern. So grabbed one of each. I may have grabbed more. I don't know. I don't know where all my Dollar Tree bags are, to tell you the truth. Then the high end Michael and the Michael high end dupes at Dollar Tree go on and on. I mean, look at I shot this at Michael's. Of course, I mean they were bigger. Some of them are bigger, some of them are the same size, and a fraction of a price at Dollar Tree. Look at that. Watch our Michael's shop with me. The the latest one, you'll see this stuff. It's exact same colors and everything. So I grabbed one of each. Um, I'll be placing them, like, I'll try and use them all. Right now, I mean, we cannot get into the storage unit because of what's going on with the Hurricane Hillary. 
and it's just super, just, I'm super stressed out. Next Friday, we're going to the Metallica concert. I am going to be vlogging because there's a lot going on this week. I'm going to be super, super busy. So I am going to turn the camera on. Um, Crystal's getting beautified, but I don't want to give anything away because it's going to be a good vlog. So the vlog is going to start tomorrow and I will be shooting all the way, probably, I don't know. It depends on, I don't know. But uh, we, we're going to the Metallica concert, then pack your bags because it's Labor Day weekend and we are going on vacationes. All right. So next Sunday, I got to get in my storage unit. That was where I was going with the story, but then I got way off track. Storage unit. But hi, and Michael, and you guys, why am I not able to form a coherent thought right now? Right now, we are looking at high end dupes from Michael's. There we go. That was not hard. So there you go. All right. Let's get into the next part of our haul. All right. I bought one of each because they're $1.25 and they're going to be cheaper than a Target $5 spot. Oh, speaking of Target $5 spot, um, those jelly bags that come in like the purple bat, wait, the black bat, the purple cat, and the orange, um, Pumpkin, those have now gone viral. People are selling them three for 60 on Poshmark and Marikari. It is insane. So if you see them and you want one, don't be like, oh, I forgot. No, I don't know. And then think you're going to be able to go back to the dollar spot, target dollar spot and get them. Now people are grabbing them and it's crazy. Um, Sway to the 99 actually was able to snag me one in one for my munchkins, not mine, but my niece and my nephew. So he's actually been, had really great luck with those jelly, uh, I want to say jelly belly bags, but that's not what they're called. Those Halloween jelly bags is what they're calling them. Google it. It is insane. You guys like all the stuff that's going viral for Halloween and people are just like, yeah, it is crazy. But, um, anyways, like the ghosts that I hauled, the ghost tumblers that I hauled last week from Dollar Tree, those went viral. Now you can't find them. And now the Dollar Trees are saying that they're only going to get one case in. And it's like, who knew, you know? Like, I just thought they were too, like, they were cute. And again, two of those are going to my niece and my nephew. And then um, maybe one to my sister. And then I'm keeping one for decor and then one for me. So, honestly, the moral of the story is if you see something and you like it, just get it. Keep the receipt. You can take it back. No biggie. Because right now, everything just, like, flies. And I don't know if these are going to go viral or what. You know, I think they're a great deal for $1.25. I'm sorry. They're cute. You know, I'll put them in little strategic places. And, um, yeah, that's what... So I just picked up one of each. And like I said, I'm putting together a, like, gift bag for my nephew. So I got, like, these little jumpy hopping toys and it's just goofy kid friendly fun and then we also have the jack-o-lantern and i know i got him like the eye that jumps that's just for you know just some funsies all right another thing that i found really cute were these cool plates you only get i think like eight or ten ten this was you know i like them and the jack-o-lantern i'll put those away for halloween and then i like I said, I'm going to the Metallica concert, and I don't know if they'll let me use this as a purse, but if not, I have a Ziploc, a gallon Ziploc bag, because they have, like, all these weird rules, um, since the world is weird, you know, now we have to, like, you can't bring in a purse, you can't do this, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can't do, so I don't know if they'll let me bring this in, but if not, you know, unfortunately, I'm just going to probably have to chuck it right then and there because I doubt we're going to want to walk all the way back to the car. And first of all, I don't even know, like I'm probably going to have to like tie these up really well. I don't I mean, I don't even know if it'll do it. If not, you know, I'll just pour candy corn in that and those be a, um, I don't know. I might not even take it. Honestly, I might just take the gallon freezer bags and that's going to be my purse because I thought about ordering a purse like on Amazon, but I, when would I use a clear purse? Seriously, when? Like, we don't go to like to a whole bunch of concerts only like when certain bands play. So we'll see. All right. Um, bo boring stuff, but necessities, we need batteries. Like we're going to need so many batteries. I might just order some from Amazon, but I did get, grab a couple. I thought I grabbed more. I don't know where stuff is. You guys, I really, really don't. It is so crazy in this house right now. Um, 
I could have sworn I bought more batteries than this. And we're going to need like so many more. Like when the holidays come, like batteries are just, it's a constant here. All right. More boring stuff. Toothpaste. I know I get tooth. Oh, there's my other batteries. I get toothpaste all the time. I needed more hairspray for my crazy hair. And all right. That might be the end of Dollar Tree, but I spent way more. So there better be another bag. It'll be somewhere. It'll probably pop up later in the haul. All right, we're getting into TJ Maxx. I got this for me. This was too... I, I fell in love with it. This is $19.99, and I like it. And too cute. Uh, Martha Stewart, and that's going to look... I don't know. I want to put it on the main table, but there's going there's so much stuff I want to put on the main table. I don't know if I'm going to have room. So that's one item that I did pick up at TJ Maxx. Then I also picked up these two bags two for, I don't know, $1.99, and I grabbed one for Sway and one for me, and these are the Hello Kitty 2-in-1 Effusion Body Scrub Caramel Pumpkin Latte and the Bath Bomb Silky Skin Spa Set Caramel Pumpkin Latte Limited Edition, and there she is in all of her glory, cutesy putie. You guys saw the shop with me. These were $9.99 a piece, and, um... Yeah, so I just, I picked, he said he wanted one, and then I was like, I want one too, and you know, so grab two, don't worry, there was like three more left, did not clear the shelf. Picked up this Ray Dunn Ghost for Sway as well, I think this was like, was $14.99? Yeah, it was $14.99, so I grabbed him one of those, and look, it is so cute with Boo, I thought that was adorable. And then... I grabbed, I found a lot of Ray Dunn. Oh, okay. These. I am definitely keeping one of these babies. Is she not adorable? And she is $5.99. $5.99. And then... Look, I had to get this by Ray Dunn, going batty. $5.99. $5.99. Then I picked up... I went Ray Dunn crazy. And I wanted... I mean, I'm getting... I'm, when I run into the Ray Dunn stuff that I wanted for like a really long time, like this Hocus Pocus... Um, this one was $6.99. I really, I like these colors because I'm going to be using fluorescent green. And I also picked up this cute little boo. And I want to use this in my coffee station, but I have so much stuff I want to put in my coffee station. Like, there's like no way there's going to be room for everything. I already know that. So this is going to go on my mug tree. Her, I just think is adorable. Susan, let me know if you want one. Let me know if you want one of those and I will send it out to you. All right. Let me see if I picked out anything else from TJ Maxx. Also bought the iridescent resting witch face by Ray Dunn, and that's going to be six ninety nine. So I mean, I'm I'm done with I done with Halloween, you guys. Well, I said that, and then I went to ninety nine cents store, and things got crazy. Hold on, All right, let's jump in to Target Dollar Spot, and I picked this up for my bathroom counter. I want to put like just cochinadas in there, whatever's, because it will take me, you know, through when I'm ready to start decorating for um, Christmas. So I need to find a little cute spot for that. But, you know, hair barrettes, whatever. You know, pumpkin earrings. I can just toss it in there, and it's super stinking fun. All right. Then I did pick this up at it was $5. I mean, this is a phenomenal price. This looks like Michael's. This is great. And Joanne's for five dollars. 
All right. I also grabbed this because I will find something cutesy putsy to put in there. Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, there's tons of stuff that's going through my head that I could put in there. Um, I don't know. You guys give me some ideas. Now I'm like idealist. I know that's not a word, but you guys, I'm so exhausted. I don't even care um, about words right now. I just, I know, you know, I had to be able, what would look cute in there? I don't know. I'm, maybe I'll Google it. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Then what else is in here? Oh, ooh, scored the mother load on this one. This baby. Yeah. Look, $5. Make you holla. So candy corn or maybe we'll put the ghosts and like, I don't want them all. I don't know. You guys, let me know what I should do with those peeps ghosts that I went crazy because they're so cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll make the cupcakes. Who knows? I think candy corn would look pretty in there or black licorice. Like not like the big ones, but like the little ones that they sell at Dollar Tree, like the bite sized black licorice. That would really make the yellow, I mean the orange pop. Let me know. I need ideas on what candy for that. Or purple candy. Where would I get purple candy at, though? Or green. Well, I don't hear it. Oh, you know what? Like Maybe like green gumballs in there. That would look good. Let me know how I should do use this one. Back into Dollar Tree. I did pick up one and one of each, but I already put um, two of them. One under Fancy's Water Bowl and one under Fancy's Food Bowl. So that, you know, she's got to be seasonal cute too. Anyways, this one, um, I don't know where this one's going to go. It'll, it'll be used somewhere somehow. So anyways, grabbed one of those from Dollar Tree. So I have been hitting Ross like a mad woman and I'm not, this is a kitchen mat and it says farm fresh pumpkin grown locally. I wasn't going to get it because it's light colored and just light. I, I can't, I really cannot do light um, carpets here, as you all know. But I was like, for the price, which was $9.99. I mean, look at this. I don't know. Like, I'm even, I don't know. I might put this down. This is not going down for a while in the kitchen. I don't know if, I'm, if it's even going to go in the kitchen. Um, Especially since it's storming. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to this for a while. And it'll go down maybe like on Thanksgiving Day. Seriously. Like if I put it down earlier, it'll just get ruined. And then I'll be really upset. So it's... I like it. I just... I liked it. And I really was not going to buy it. But I... For the length and everything, I just was like, wow. You know, it's... It's really, really nice. So... Gotta love Ross. I'm trying to back up. You guys, I mean, look at it. it. runs like the length of the table for $9.99. I also picked up this corduroy um, pillow because I liked it. Thankful, grateful, blessed. And this to me, it looks like it came from Home Goods. And this sage and oak, their stuff is priced phenomenal. $10.99. $10.99 for that. And it looks high end. It looks Michaels. It looks Hobby Lobby. It has all the check boxes checked. And the price is phenomenal. Sorry, you guys. I also picked up this cute bag. Sorry, the glare. I'm trying not to get... All right, there you guys can see. Look at that. I hope they don't run out because I need more. 99 cents. So fun. Ross. And I'm not going to put this outside. It's too cute. It's, it looks to me like it's it's campy. It's carnival-y. It's fun. This is going to be used inside. $5.99. $5.99. I mean, wowzers, right? You, I love Ross. I love it. And that's why I shoot Ross once a week. Because I'm not going to be sleeping on Ross. Sometimes we go twice. And here is more from Dollar Tree. I knew it. All right bowls pack of bowls i needed more of these pineapple and strawberry and grape and then i bought this book for some pool reading for next weekend the comeback and grabbed another 
hairspray. I think they're two different ones. And then I thought she was really cute. The witch with her little um, outfit. And I want to hang her outside, but since it's storming, I will wait. And I hope everyone, of course, stays safe out there. Please be careful if you're in Southern California. And let's hope and that everyone is stays safe for the next... I think it's supposed to go on till Monday, till tomorrow. So, um, yeah. I know we're okay. It's just like, it's really hot out and it's just rain. It's just a constant rain. You know, it's just like, it's been, it started around, I mean, don't quote me, but I heard it start up about like 6.30 over here. So, anyways, I hope everyone's safe and, you know, you have provisions and so forth and, and all of that because, um, you know, obviously it's, I mean, hopefully it's just going to rain and it won't get any worse, but... Anyways, you guys. All right. So I picked her up. Let me clear the table. Thank you to Sway for scoring these for me from um, Five Below. You know, all know how much I love Hello Kitty. And this is a summer Hello Kitty. She's adorable. Look at her. They'll go in the collection, of course. All right. Um... Let's get into, I don't know. Hold on, you guys. I do apologize for the chaos, but we're back into um, Dollar Tree. All right, 50% more. 50% more. Nine packs of blueberry breakfast biscuits. And I also grabbed it in the cinnamon and brown sugar. And I grabbed three more blenders. Let me know how you guys clean your, your beauty blenders. Um, I'm always afraid, like, if it's not, like, I'm afraid if I rinse them with water and stuff, like, it's good to get bacteria, and, yeah. Let me know how you guys clean yours. Picked up three more, and then I picked this up for my husband, and hopefully he'll like it. It's the Hot Mayo Buffalo Style Dressing. This is 22 fluid ounces. It's a pint and six fluid ounces, and it's Kraft Mayo, and it's, um... Expiration is November 2nd, 2023. So I think that should be the last from Dollar Tree. I think that's it. Okay, let's get into the 99. Oh my gosh. Look. These are less than the ones at the $5 spot at Target. These are $3.99 each. Look at Adorable, right? Then... I also picked up, how fun are those? Didn't I get some of those already? Where is all, you know, I went through everything, you guys. You know, it may be in the other side. I don't know. I could have sworn I picked up a pair, uh, a set of these the first time I went to the 99. All right, I also grabbed these, the Happy Halloween banner, which I know where I want it hung. It's in the mirror. I know exactly where this is going to go. I thought that was cute for 99 cents. These were 99 cents as well. Then I picked up one of these for my nephew, 99 cents. The pink one for my niece. And then I needed one of each. And this is a pumpkin. And then you have the leaf, 99 cents. I know exactly what I'm going to do with those. And I didn't even know that these, like, the ghosts were, like, hot finds, but that's cool. Oh, I also got me this little jumper. It's a Junior's, and it was only $3.99, and I thought this was really cute. It's just a dress, and I thought I could wear this. It's just, like, a dress, and I thought I could wear this, like, with a black turtleneck under, black tight, and, like, some black um, over-the-knee um, boots or... Uggs, if it's, you know, if it's really, if I was to run, run around and be comfortable, but probably like over the knee boots for like the holidays. And I did get this as an extra large because these do run small. This is like a small juniors. These are small junior sizing. So, um, they had extra small to extra large and I grabbed the extra large. 
and I thought, first thing I thought was black tights and over the knee boots and a cute, um, and a black, whatchamacallit, a black fitted, um, turtleneck and that would be a cute outfit. So grabbed that. And I grabbed the last two of the ghost core mats, which I didn't even know were hot items. I was just ecstatic because you all know that this is so my motif right now. And I'm not putting these out until like, I don't want this to get round. So I probably won't put them out till October. So I'll have to get some cheap ones to go out there. I mean, these are cheap, but I want these to be all nice for like the home tour. So these will have to I'm not putting these out right away. So I did grab two of them and they're $5.99. And I didn't even know these were out there. Like I have not, I mean, I mean, I've been to more 99 cent stores than I usually go to because I've been on the hunt. You know, it's like keep trying to keep up with what's coming out. And there was only two left. And I was like, oh my gosh, I mean, I've never even seen these. Um, so super excited to score these. Next, we went to Hobby Lobby and I did get this Joy and this was only $5.99 or less because it was 40% off. Let me see how much is this. $4.99. So 40% off $4.99. Then I thought these were 50% off. And I will use these for Christmas. So these were basically I got two for $0.99 because they were $0.99 cents each. And then I, their cutlery is 50% off. So I grabbed some orange forks, orange forks, and then um, more forks and knives and spoons. Really cheap, you guys. Go into that section. And these will be great for Christmas, those straws. And as you all know, Christmas is 40% off. I grabbed the... These are adorable. If you guys want to do Christmas cards, let me know. I mean, I can't decorate every Christmas card like this, but I am going to get some more stickers. I think this, I like these. I think this will be fun for friend mail, for doing, you know, for, for friend mail for Christmas. So adorable. I mean, look at that. How fun. This was like pennies on the dollar. And so I picked this up for my nephew. It was $4.24 down from $16.99. He can paint dinosaurs. I thought, what a deal. Starting to put stuff away. Oh, it's actually, this is his birthday's in October, so this will go in his birthday bag. I also bought him for 40% off, and he was, he wasn't that expensive, you guys. He was really cheap, $19.99. So I'm going to put him right here because I do not feel like messing around with stuff today. I'm not going to work on the house anymore. I've done so much, it's not even funny. All right. Let me back up and see what's going on. All right, we still have more to get through. These halls are just so big. Um, let me put this waste thing over here so it stays nice. There we go. Okay. Let's get it. All right, one more item from... Yes, I have Cabbage Patch Kids that need to be put away. Trust me, this... You all know, if you've been with me, you all know what goes on when I transition. And then everything, you know, it always pulls itself. Well, I always pull it together. And my husband does help me. It's just, it is just a lot of work. And I, my, I take my hat off to those of you that do full-on huge houses. Because I am stressing out over a one-bedroom condo. So I can't, I mean, I know eventually I will be doing a whole home. But I'm not going to think about that right now. All right. Let's get into, oh, one more item from Hobby Lobby. I bought them. I, he's too adorable. Look at, you guys all knew I was going for him. So I waited for 40% off, went and got him. And I am going to take back the rest of the stuff and get it price adjusted. And I am going to film a full Hobby Lobby 2023 fall shop with me. So, um, yeah, he is now welcome to our home, Santee. So he's going to be fun and yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to get into Walmart and this is from the kids section, five ninety eight trick or treat. I'm not sure if I, this is a, did I get a 2X? I don't know. I might just wear this as a, um, I don't know if I'm going to wear it because it's going to be too big, like in the stomach area. So I might just wear this as pajamas. 
I, honestly. Oh, you guys, I am so... Okay, I want to tell you guys about this deal. And if you see it, get it. All right. These say... these I got in a large. $16.98, $3. $3. And if that place wasn't so stinking big, I would have ran back and grabbed four more pairs. $3. I thought I was going to be paying $17. Sixteen ninety eight. I would be paying seventeen dollars plus tax. It was three dollars. They're on clearance. They are on clearance, and I think they're the cutest thing. So I might just. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna use these are pajamas, and then I'm just gonna use this as a pajama top. And if I see these in the kids section again, I think I'm either gonna get an extra large or a large because the two X is just. Yeah, it's going to like stretch like throughout the day. And yeah, I'm not going to like the way that looks. So this will just be pajamas. All right, let's keep going. One more item at Ross. Sorry, this just came out of the Walmart bag is I bought two black um, pillowcases because I need to change over some pillows into black. Our, the whole bed is almost ready. Let me know. Like, okay, I am such a dork. Like, I don't want to use the good pillows because I'm afraid I'm going to mess them up. And then what will end up happening is I'll never use them and then they'll be put away for next Halloween. Let me know if you guys go through that because like I don't, I'm afraid to like put all the nice pillows on my bed because I don't want them to get ruined. I know, dorky. Maybe I'll just, I'll bust them out like middle of September. I don't know. All right, then for Halloween, I got Hocus Pocus, Brooms, Potions, Spells, founded 1866. I only picked up two of them, $5.98, because I don't know. I mean, the wall is going to be crazy because it's going to be fall and Halloween. We're doing Halloween. Show me your spooky side, $5.98. Grab those two. I'm not going to pull this out of the bag. It's just an industrial size um, mat. It's going to go in front of the front door. I am really tired of trying to be cutesy putsy with the front door. We need something durable because, you know, the fancy gets taken out for walks like five times a day, whether it's pouring rain or not and mud. And that's where, you know, leashes are put on. My husband puts on her harness every night, every morning and takes it off every night and it's just so hard to try and keep a cute rug there. I've tried, and it's just, I need something that's going to be durable. And this is not the cutest thing. I think it was like $14.98. It's not cute, but it's navy blue, and it should get us through at least for a month and a half. Fingers crossed. All right, these are my new babies, and they actually, he's supposed to be a scarecrow, but... She didn't tell me that his pants were too big, so I'm going to have to get, like, a safety pin. And he has no, he doesn't have a diaper on. But anyways, that's okay. I just, you know, I really do read the descriptions, and I didn't know. I mean, my mother-in-law can fix this. But anyways, he's a scarecrow with his little tie. And I love his hair. I love his freckles. And his hair is adorbs. And then she's a witch, and she is so cute. She doesn't have on... Oh, no, she has chonies on. She has her little cape. Oh, wait, they have the... Ro hold on, hold on. Ah, they're so cute. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Let me move that. Look at how cute they are. I got to do... You know, I got to do a photo shoot with the ones that I dress up. Look at... I don't know if she... I'm, okay, I'm saying that she's... He's a boy, but I guess he could be a girl. I don't know. Well, I'm going to say a boy. He's a boy, because he's, he's, he's got a tie on. <laughs> anyway, he's a scarecrow and she is a witch. And these are, and I ordered them I, on eBay. They're Halloween Cabbage Patch Kids and they came as a set and I got them for a really good price. So, aren't they adorbs? Then, here's the last one. that, And I have none on order right now, but I do have some on a watch list. I'm not going to even try and pretend. Here's their sister. She arrived way... She arrived, like, oh, two weeks ago, but I didn't have time to show her to you guys in the last one. CPK OG outfit. Her chonchons fit. She's got her diaper. She has legit... She's all... She's in perfect condition. Look at her face. Look at her. Okay, she's got a little... A couple of scrapes. I'm going to try... I'm going to wipe, I'm going to get like a nice little cloth, a soft one, and I'm going to try and wipe her down. I don't know, 
I mean, you know, they are old. Like, this is some sticky stuff. But I don't want to, because of her color, I don't want to take a white eraser to her because I'm afraid it, it you know, like, I don't want to ruin her. So I'm just going to get, like, I don't know, maybe a microfiber or something. I don't know. Let me know how I could. It, it's just stickiness. I mean, I know that, you know, I mean, these dolls are, like, you know, 40-something years old. So, I mean, of course, it's so hard to find them in pristine condition. But look at this outfit. I mean, this outfit, someone did a phenomenal job in restoring the outfit because this is OG. I mean, this is CPK all the way from the shoes to the socks. The socks have some yellowing, which is to be expected. I'm not even tripping. Her face is just a little sticky and everyone says take a magic eraser. So I might go into my group and be like, um, how do you guys, do you guys recommend taking a magic eraser to her? Cause I do not want it to, you know, I don't want to ruin her face in any shape or form. Um, so I'm going to take a picture of her and ask my, cause I belong to like several Cabbage Patch Kid groups. So, um, they have a lot of experience, like with different types of Cabbage Patch Kids, soft sculpture dolls, different, you know, there's so many different shades of Cabbage Patch Kids and so forth that I'm sure someone will have a good idea of how I can get her face just a little bit cleaner. But other than that, I saw her and I was like, oh my gosh, I saw the outfit and I was like, she needs to come and make her this is her home. So these are the babies. And of course, welcome to the patch with the rest of your siblings, which I don't even know. I, I, I wouldn't even take a guess of how much they're, oh, you know what you guys, she's, when I was doing all my cleaning, I must've put my Jessamar. I know I've not taken my Jessamar out. She has to be where, yeah, I think I know where my Jessamar is at. I got to get her dressed because the Jessamar is very expensive and she's sitting underneath this table and I got to get her into a really cute outfit. As a matter of fact, I don't want to take her outfit from her because this outfit looks so good on her and it matches with the bows, but someone's going to have to give up their outfit for the Jessamar because the Jessamar is very expensive and I got to get her into an outfit, into a CPK outfit, but she's going to keep her outfit because see, it's a little bit yellow. Now that I'm looking, it's a little bit yellow. Let me know how I could take out the yellowing from age. I mean, it's to be expected. Like I said, I mean, these dolls are over 40 years old. But aren't they cute? All right, you guys, I got to get in the shower. My husband's going to go pick up something for us to eat because it's not raining that bad. And we, we pre-ordered it. So we were going to grill, but obviously that's not going to happen. So anyways, um, my husband was going to grill. My husband grills. There, dear. Is that better? My husband grills. So he was going to grill and then we were just like, no. So we just ordered Chili's pickup because it's just one of those days, you guys. It's a really, really long day. All right. I'm going to go jump in the shower. I'm going to just load up for you guys. We're at 42 minutes. This is another gigantic haul. And every Sunday I'm like, it's not going to be a large haul. I don't think this Sunday is going to be a large haul. No, it won't be because I won't even be here to shoot it because we're going to be on vacation. All right. I will see you all tomorrow, my friends. Thank you so very much for joining me.